Right, good morning ladies and gents. Ooh, it's a bit fresh in here, isn't it? It's a bit fresh, but yeah, we've got no wind and uh, the sun's just poked out, so it's cheered it up a little bit. We've already had the first brew, and I, initially I thought, you know, I just can't be bothered doing any filming, but uh, I'll just do a bit, and if I've got something, I'll stick it up. But we're on the phase now where Al, proper, is that yours, is it, mate? That's mine. That's yours, that's Al, yeah. Ooh, Frank Furtiser, ooh, and, and your noodles and that. Um, and you've probably got like half your burgers full of food, sir. Because you proper put the food down, don't you, sir? Just a couple of brockies. No, but yeah, so, yeah no, well, it's good. Yeah, no, you, you, know, you have a breakfast when you get here and then a lunch and, and some to. No, no, but I'm serious, though, mate. Yeah, no, come on. Argue against me and then you have a little something before you go home, don't you, sir? <laughs> you prop the trough bag, sir. Prop a nose bag. And here is the, the special man himself, Mr. Baldrick. And he's obviously, it's a bit cold, so he's still got his jumper underneath that. Three lots of, uh, um, three lots of padding. What do you want? You've had your food, you've had your water. Uh, very high. Yeah. Jeff. Tightwood. Um, yeah, just uh, mucking about with this uh, really. So 150 by 230. Um, so what I'm thinking, you've got to put it up. I need to lower it down a bit, but I'm going to want, want to run along about um, sort of 10 inches around the bottom, so it will drop vertically. So the whole shelter is lifted up and pulled out, and it'll give you a lot more room as opposed to that going to the ground. And what I've got here, uh, actually, it comes off a helicopter. Swag man that um, me and Deskatty did a swap on. It was a bit burnt and that. I'm going to make um, Baldrick uh, another foot of coat out of that. But inside, Greta would love me because that was the uh, shop called. And they had them nice little, what I call, uh, Paddington Bear buckles. Uh, you know, he always had them on his coat. So, and that's a bit of bungee cord. So, um, yeah, it's going to be out a lot more and then it's going to come out a lot more. Uh, you know, I'm going to 45 degree angle now and I want it to drop down because it's going to lift the whole shelter up for only a little bit of uh, material um, so i'm just having a little um play about with that and uh yeah you know that'll be closer to the ground but you know pulled out and so forth so you get plenty of room underneath that shelter i will drop this ridge line um and while i was watching some youtube films yesterday um a bit of like a wooden coat hanger and the ones the posh ones you put your trousers on they've got a nice bar across I mean, the bar come off in my hand was getting a pair of trousers off for of work, so I threw it on the side. When I work, come back and went, well, that's a nice little bit of just. I thought initially it'll be too small to be a toggle. Um, but you know, there you go, that's the old toggle. Um, and I've made up a few more, just cut it, drilled a little hole in it. So th th these are now permanently on this ridge line. Uh, one in the middle, so if I want to hang a light on it. And again, here we see, I just got me lighter and you know. Ray mears them up a bit, like you know what I mean, just put a bit of burning stuff on them. But yeah, so they're always going to be on there. And they'll see, there's the old DB Firkin knot, I can't remember the name of it. Um, you do the little loop and then you do a half hitch. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to bring it out, and I think that needs to be about 10 inches at the bottom, 45 degree angle, and then it will drop and uh, it will just raise the whole thing up um, for. To make it you know like a bit more of a shelter rather than just a quick top this is part of the two system that db firk and i have like little uh, emergency always have with your shelter oh but the old sun's come up i've made it a bit more uh, a bit more cheerful isn't it mate yeah yeah, yeah. but that's some right old banter and most of it well i just think on cam but no no it's always the best of the banter He's always never on cam, is it? <laughs> He's been getting some proper old yes stick, haven't you? <laughs> no, no. I uh, you come back with a message like, like got a clock in the morning. Oh, I reiterate. You know, I passed my test in the so and so. I was like, well, reiterate. What's that? I said, mate, don't be like. I, I, I had to Google that. I'm infantry. I had to Google that to see if he was abusing me. I reiterate. And then it's funny enough. when I, I just said back to you, no, that should. I'm infantry, right? Because like, RF, oh, they could probably spell words like that and all that, can't you? I mean, they probably even know the definitions, that's why they're in the RF, yeah. you know? Um, and not in a manly, like, I can kill a lot of things regiment, I'm just saying. Anyway, no, but I reiterate, no, and it's funny enough though, mate, this is the reason I mention it, because I said, no, infantry, mate, that should have read, I say again, yeah? And then what did Jeff say? 
Yeah, yeah. no, it's, yeah, but when I was recounting, I was going, right, I'll laugh, right, mate, you know what I mean? I didn't have to say it again, I actually quantify what I said. Oh, quantify, do you know what I mean? It's using big you know, words. There's a lot. I'm just going to kick him in the shin. <laughs> you know, quantify, that, sound, that sounds like a lot of things, isn't it? Because I used to go in Woolwich, you know, to pick a mix. And I used to quantify a few of them pick a mix in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but he used his words, and you have to Google them, find out what they mean, in case he's like, intellectually, like, abusing you. Because oh, yes, they do things like that, so around the back door. No, but it was funny though, mate. Words that I don't get. Oh well, yeah. You know, but seriously, you know, because I said no, you just that needs to be I say again, and that was the first thing which way. No, just say. <laughs> Posh git. Go on. Go on, flash, flash the Irish, RF flash, flash. Uh, go on. Oh, looks like a French flag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and somebody said to me on one of my films, oh, you seem to get a lot of your dog in. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, uh, Baldrick, no, fair enough. And, and, yeah, dog, no, fair, all right, uh, maybe that was a Freudian slip. You know, you guys know I don't script anything anyway, do I? And he said, oh, I'm not sure if you know that or not. And I just said, well, mate, yeah, do you know what I mean? I'll just come out, do the filming, don't script anything, guys. Rarely do I edit anything out unless somebody's been, like, slagging somebody off, like, you know what I mean, or whatever. Um, but no, I do like to get my old dog on the film because he proper loves coming out. He's a proper, you know, loves it. Well, we, he, he never, before, people that had him before me, he didn't have a good time. And you love coming out with the boys, don't you? He said, oh, I do that, I love that. So, but, and my missus likes to see Baldrick out there. Um, it's, it's, proper, it's your best thing, isn't it? Coming out with the boys, that it is. Yeah, love it. Right, ladies and gents, yeah, um, just no agenda, no... Uh, I like plan for the day, so I think it turned out to be the best days, though, innit? So if there's anything, well, there's a few mince pies on there, and obviously, being the infantry, I've just bought Jamaica ginger cake. I mean, do you know anybody that doesn't like Jamaica ginger cake? And that's not French. It's not because we're not having that for breakfast. But uh, anyway, ladies and gents, if there's all going on, I'll bring you back. And there we go, ladies and gents. So obviously, the uh, ubiquitous. There's a big word for you, ubiquitous. Uh, ginger cake's gone down well. Just wanted to say, obviously, inventory, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a statement now, mate, and I don't know the answer, but I'll bet you a coffee. I'll bet you a coffee. That is your messing from when you was in. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't hand your kit in, sir, did you? No. You nicked it. I purchased it, and uh, that was. You nicked it, sir, didn't on you? The side. You robbed it up, sir, didn't you? No, I mean, everybody infantry, did. green jacket. Oh, no, <laughs> he's got a guilty face. Mate, good skills, of course you did. Like, most of your kitten webbing was your own who you adapted anyway. But they were the old, remember they come out, like survival aids and all that, yeah. were one of the first this things. Is, this is the one with the uh, Teflon bottom, so yeah. you're frying Because yeah. yeah. um, you, like, messed in, sir, proper. You know, all these posh pots, messed in proper. Mm. You're going to get al aluminium poisoning anyway and Alzheimer's, anyway, I'm just saying, but... What's Alzheimer's? <laughs> no, but that did come out back in the day. And do you remember, yeah, it was survival aids. I think it was survival aids. Yeah, and survival aids come out with the first one, mate. It was like the, uh, well, they designed the, uh, do you know what they call it? The, um, oh, the, the army mug now. What's the army mug called? Crusader mug. Crusader um, mug, yeah. Military mug, not army. You got this one. Yeah, hey. Came with a butler. <laughs> well, your ones did, mine didn't. No, but they had a black pot, mate. It was exact copy of a 58 cup. Uh, it was anodised. Yes. It was in metal and it had a plastic ring around the top. And I had one. Yes, yeah, so I had one. Because you did, didn't you? It was a good bit well, of kit. Be before, sort of when the 40, uh, 48 pattern, weren't they? 44. 44, but what was the. And 58. Uh, 44. No, not, 50, not 58 pattern. It was a metal water bottle. It should be a jar got. 37 pattern. Yeah. 44. Um, I can't yeah. remember what pattern it was. It, it was a metal water bottle. Is that the one you had on D-Day, mate? <laughs> and it had a, a metal cup in it because the cup had come with the British Army. Oh, what? Well, you talk, you're talking about a 44 water bottle 44 pouch? Water yes, bottle, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they were required. Yeah. yeah. I actually went down and got two off Silverman's and they were bloody expensive, mate. You remember, you used to go in there just to be that like little one. counter. Yeah, still no. Got I still got a 44 the only water thing bottle. went on the top was on the top the rubber. Yeah, yeah. So you had to put a piece of plastic in it just to stop the water pissing yeah. out in your kit. Yeah. I oh, know, I mean, I've still got a 44 water bottle pouch. You know, I had two of them with yeah, water bottle with pouches, the, pouches and that, mate, yeah. With the two pins on yeah, the Yeah, yeah. And they were, they, they were the dogs, weren't they? Mm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I could hang them down a bit lower, because yes. I was always carrying a Bergen or a Milan firing post. A bit lower. Yeah. 
rather than stuff sitting up. Up, uh, yeah, no. But anyway, no, man points, sir. Man points, and uh, yeah, um, you we know Paul Shovel Racky will have one of these just because they were back in the day. But you get man points, sir, because you got you you got your old brat burst in there, haven't you? Yep. Yeah, you're eating sugar. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Cut the braids. Oh. Mustard as well, lovely. Oh yeah, no worries. Cause well, I, 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 I got some. I done it. I cooked last time, couple of times. I come out and I. Yeah, yeah. Curry and whatever the other ration pack was. No, what but. Always used to amaze me. Whenever I. Hold tight. Something amazed him. Sorry. Go on. Whenever you eat a bratty, is when you're on exercise in Germany that the bratty wagon would turn up yeah. at a location that was you meant mean, to be secret. You mean Wolfgang? <laughs> yeah. He's got his own web page still, mate. Serious? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he was a hero amongst the troops, wasn't he? I mean, God blimey. We reckon he must have had a 351 or a 352, and he was just listening in, you know what I mean? And he was yeah. like... Because he turned up, mate. You're all right. He's like, fucking hell, where does he know? I know, but how did he get his, how did he get his motor in there, mate? Sometimes you couldn't get a ferret armoured car in there or, know. you know, a Saxon. And he'll turn up, mate, it was a big Mercedes van. Oh, it was funny, mate, when it, because everybody just go up, bin it, drop it. Yeah, yeah come on. No, no, and then it come round like the message, nobody's to go to the Bratty wagon. Yeah, yeah like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wolfgang, mate, he was a hero. Anybody, you know, Senelaga, you know, he was, uh, people still talk about him years, well, we're doing it now, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Wolfgang, he was, he was, he, he was a legend, sir, wasn't he? Yeah. A legend. And, he must have been a rich man, because, oh. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. face it, the food was Shit, well, I don't know. Oh, yes, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with his burgers or bratties, oh, mate. No. 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 Yeah. Oh, chips and mayonnaise. Yeah. Oh, do you know when I first went to Germany and they put mayonnaise on their chips? I thought, because you think mayonnaise, you think salad, didn't you? I thought, oh, you dirty bastard. Oh, you. Uh, but when you have it, you've got the hot chips and the cold mayonnaise. I still have it today, mate, yeah? So I'm like proper European culture. I'm a bit cultured person. I'll tell you what I did have, and it wasn't in Germany, it was in. in Belgium. And that's the first time, and I was only a kid, and uh, 12, something like that. But thing is there, mate, um, we, when the doodle bug's still coming over there, uh, you know? Because you, when you was a kid, uh, I'm just saying, because you're not young, are you? We went to the chip shop there, and they'd done tomato sauce, mayonnaise, and they'd done, not like you get up north, gravy, it was like meat, but like sort of fine, really fine meat in a gravy that poured over your chips as well. Yeah. And that was really nice. Because, yeah. you know. I've never come across that anywhere else other than Belgium. I've been up in Jockland, like. Um, Scotch Indi pies. Oh, Independent Republic of Jockistan, right? That's serious. And I had a bite of one. But you know, when so much just like. Oh, I'm not posh me. A, a deep fried Mars bar with batter. Oh, ugh, dirty bastards. Dirty bastards. We oh. <coughs> Burn, we went in it wasn't actually that bad, but I just, you know, I just not a sort of thing that's. No, I know. Oh, look at your face, Al. Oh, do that face again. Ugh, dirty bastards. Well, we was, we was up in Otterburn. We went. But you don't say nothing because them jocks they have proper fighting nations. Oh. So you don't fuck them off, mate. Especially when you're having a, you're drinking in one of their pubs, aren't you? Oh, no, tell me about it. You just, you just go. Wee English bastards, yeah. English bastards. Is, you know, have, you know, we was up there, up in uh, Helensboro, just. Um, Below the what's it called the submarine base, it was just in the camp up above it, and um, wow. it was in a bar called the Spinnaker. Yeah. And me and me mate um, talked to a couple of uh, sweaties. Um, <laughs> sweaties, sir, uh, you'll get beaten up by my. I tell you what, they was <laughs> no, they was really nice blokes, yeah. having a right good laugh with no, them. No. He walks outside. I'm walking along talking to one of them, who's got in a curry house afterwards. I know, and my mate's behind the other. All of a sudden, I hear like a bit of noise behind. Look round. And my mate's put this um, other lad on his ass, and it's like, what happened there? He went, fucking dickhead. He says, just walking along, and all of a sudden he started taking a swing at me. And my mate, he's just gone bang, 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 put him down, like that. No? Mm. And the other, the other lad I'm walking, the Scotch lad I'm walking with, turned around and said, oh, fucking hell. He said, yeah. He said, a few too many beers. Mm. He said, he does that. He said, he do that to us. Just turn around and start taking a swipe at people. Like, you know, it's like a fucking madness of them, ain't it? But anyway. Well, you know, 
Green Jackets, mate, we always had people from all over the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. That is why I will never, you will never see me standing under the, the St. George's Cross or whatever, the English flag. My one is always a Union flag. You'll never, you know, you know, just, but yeah, if it kicked off a bit good time, a couple of docks around you, sir. You know what I mean? I, know, oh, I never yeah, knew no, no, no. whether it was in a pub fight or in Ireland yeah. or that. You know, they were pretty fucking handy, like. No, uh, so no, you, but this other lad, he was fine. He, I mean, we, we'd been drinking with him, that was the cra craziest thing about it, and having a good laugh uh, with it, you know what I mean? Even when we was in culture, Green Jacket, I don't know why, we'll always f fight with repairers. Normally, like the Marines and that, didn't see too much of them. Left them was up little burn for live firing and all that. But when you remind them, <laughs> we've got the naval crown and they, you know, it, we'd always, you'd always get into a, um, a, a, a thump up, as we used to call it. No, no, but um, no, yes, sir. Uh, you know, it was with a few cup of chocolate. No, no. Well, you like the, you like the hot chocolates from the rations, mate, don't you? Yeah, no worries. Hey, picks up load. Mm, you know what I mean, because we do that, sir, don't we? Yeah. We down there. Because David, that water bottle patch, he's already communicated to me. <laughs> the one that the prototype one he's got. Water bottle patch. Yeah, he's, oh. he's made a lot like, of water bottle patch carrier. For what water bottle? Uh, well, as I know, the fifty-eight water bottle. Oh. What did, they call it a posh name, didn't they? The water Osprey. Osprey. What's that? That's a 58 more Osprey bottle. Made it, so. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, but no, and I, I was having a uh, right dibble dibble. Yeah, um, I have rations. Now, obviously, we've got a market where you can go down there, and he does your deal as well, doesn't he? Yeah. So, will it hold the um, Complete Crusader set, the patch he's making? I don't know, David. Will it? <laughs> he probably, he's having to watch me film, so. Uh, but I'm like, oh, I need that in my life. No, yeah. but he, he come back and he said, Ed, all right, you can have the uh, uh, camouflage one. And I was like, you know, money. I don't, you know what I mean? Uh, and I went, well, I've rationed, sir, proper ration. He went, fine. Because obviously he can't get hold of them, can he? So I'll just give him a big wedge of rations, mate. And that's it's like currency, sir, isn't it? It's like currency. Dibble, dibble. Change of goods or services. Yeah. And he's like, proper happy with that. Uh, getting, yeah. Getting back to eating, eating the food that you had up in Scotland or the deep fried. Oh, we're not still on about that, are we? Fucking hell. A name for the past. So can you, you know. can you wake me up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Billy Mycock. Billy Mycock. Yeah, I know we, Billy Mycock, mate. Ottobun. Legend in yeah. my my. He was up in Otterburn and he took us into Hexham because he comes from there, doesn't he? So we went into a pub for Hexham as you do. You know, got on the piss and then come out and he's like. You had a few beers, once you had a few beers you get the munchies on yeah. so it's <laughs> like there's a van outside so I thought oh I'll have a pizza, oh yeah have a pizza, fucking geezer got this pizza and just dropped it in the fryer and it's like oh. what are you doing mate and it, this pizza must have gone <laughs> and the fryer oil level must have gone because <laughs> when he bought it out it was just fucking dripping, it was minging like that. No, you know what I mean, it's like sausage and batter. You know, but it's a just, Mars bar, just it's just wrong. It. Nah. Just no. But oh, Billy Mycock, I take it. Did you ever see him? Took Arsehole. a while. Um, well, arsehole, yeah, he liked yeah. a few scoops, mate. Yeah. But I'll, you know, I've seen him on you know, several occasions, you know, over the years, because he was the original anti tank platoon, mate, you know what I mean? And he loved me, and he took me under his arm, same as Taffy Ronser, because I was good at AFE recognition, and Beano North was a corporal, giving it large. I know Beano North, yeah. Is, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, there you go, mate, you know what I mean? So that's going back in it, like, you know? Um, and he was like Judge Beano, Dredd. Beano the carpenter. Oh, fucking anyway. Right, fucking hell. But, uh, you know, and I was a little Billy New Boy, seriously. Nig didn't even cover it, you know what I mean? When they went from Wombat to Milan and that. And then I was like proper AFE and they're like, oh, fucking, but, you know, and oh, yeah. And a couple of times, you know, I was I was bang on it, mate. So I kind of got adopted as the platoon mass, but got, and Billy Mycock and um, Taffy Ronce got a big fucking Welsh geezer, mate. You know, just think um, Desperate Dan from the Beano and you're not far wrong. He used to have fingers like Mars bars, you know what I mean? He was like proper, you know, and I used to take the piss out of him, run away, and oh, if he caught you and he'd give you a kidney punch, you'd, you'd, you'd just drop to your knees, mate, you know what I mean? Who's good is his jacket and that? And I'd run out the nappy, and you know, oh, no, it goes back to, you know, the crack and that, but yeah, I've seen a few people upset Billy Mycock, and I won't fucking do that again. <laughs> and I wouldn't say he's a punchy bloke, but when he kicks off, he's proper on it. I mean, Beano, I never saw him have a fight, you know, I had a set to with him one time. I mean, he was, of course, a Rifleman, but you know, um, yeah, no, some of the old names just you know, brings brings old, you know, and you being like the, the Cherry Fourth Battalion, mate, it's just you know, they change about, and that. Yeah, Billy, lovely fella. Yeah, thing is, mate, when I won't, I won't recount it here because you're no. just fucking boring people to death here. But no, um, he was the one. We, we went out and we went to HMS Dolphin, mate. Yeah, and it was uh, the submarine base at Portsmouth. 
I'll walk between Captain, remember his name in a sec, he just arranged uh, a day out uh, and we go down to see the submarine base. Now it was really, my, most of the boats were like, eh, 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 eh. when we got down there, mate, it's brilliant. I, got on, I actually got to go into a U boat and all that type mm. of stuff. And they really pulled out the stops, mate, you know what I mean? It's, it's, the captain's dad was a Commodore or something like that, you know, like yeah. one above a captain, you know what I mean? I can't remember the uh, Navy ranks. And you know, the escape capsule where it's like a very, very tall build with a skyscraper and it's full yeah. up with water and you see how they escape from the submarines. The blokes were like gobsmacked, you know what I mean? I was proper on it. So we went out on the old um, a beer. Billy Moorcock was the sergeant covering it at the time, mate. And uh, yeah, uh, me and Chris Herbert, we'd gone into this place. It, well, you needed a, an ID card to get in. I'm not saying it was rough. And do you know when you go into the place and you kind of stick into the carpet? You know what I mean? <laughs> and there was some rough old sorts, mate. Oh, blimey. Um, and anyway, I was just starting to see my missus then and that, like, you know. And uh, this lady, because I was a bit polite, you know, she sort of she took a shine to me. She wouldn't fucking leave me alone. So anyway, long story short, we come out of there anyway, like, and we had a good scoop because um, me and Chris, who was my best, 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 you know, mate, you know, we hadn't been out on the, on, on the lash for ages because he was married and I was just seeing Rosina. So no, long story cut short, mate, in the end, I've gone down the alleyway by a kebab shop and I'm having a, and I've got a, 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 um, a tug from a policeman, he reckoned I was you, you and this bird's still trying to talk to me, I'm trying to have a waz down the alley and, you know, that, that type of stuff, and I've got Nick Waddle, um, anyway, and I just got thrown in the cell, they didn't sort of give me a caution or anything like, you know what I mean, long story cut short, um, you know when you start sobering up, and then I heard, you know, down that long corridor, because I was in the cell, Billy Mycock's voice, you know, and I was like, uh, uh, I'm on film, so I'll just say, blimey, right, and then the, the door opened, and it was just Billy Mycock stood there, and I went, alright, oh, he's going to hit me, I'm going to fall down, and I'm not going to get up, even if I can get up, because he'll only hit me again, <laughs> he you know what I mean? He made Windsor Davis like sound like I'm free. No, seriously. Um, and in the end, mate, I got doubled away. There was the only time, the whole time in the army, I actually got caught doing anything. And I was only having a waz like. Mm -hmm. But uh, long story cut short, mate. Yeah, I got thrown in a jail when I got back to camp and that. I was, I was like, hey, you? What are you doing? But there was big rubbo and bear. They'd beat up the shore patrol like their military police and all that, yeah. you know. And we'd been given. And I'm going to say it, it's not appropriate now. The gypsies warning. You now Billy Marcott went, -da 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 -da, mm -hmm. you know, top of the range. Anybody does anything to show us up and that. Uh, but no, they'd proper hoof some of the shore patrol and that. So it turned into a big fucking thing mate yeah but um and uh, in the end i got bust for that mate but yeah. there you go yeah buster brown bust me <laughs> i was a lance corporal and then he bust me <laughs> you know the officers used to call him buster brown they reckon that at some point in his career a corporal must have nobbed his missus or something like that mate because he if you farted and he was in an show he'd fucking take your tapes away mate you know what i mean yeah. anyway long story cut short because it's talking army here but thing is then they mm. I went in, the, you know, into the RSM's office afterwards, and he said, "Right, you act like one of my NCOs, and I'll, mm. I'll, I'll have it known. I want you treated like one of my NCOs." He said, "Don't worry, I'm an RSM. And I've been bust twice. You know what I mean?" But they took me away from the Malant platoon, and that fucking got me, mate, because mm. that was, I, you know, I just lived and breathed that weapon system. But then they sent me to a rifle company to take over a corporal shop. <laughs> <laughs> and a long story cut, you know, uh, on uh, the Cambrian March and all that type of stuff. Uh, uh, another story, but I got my tapes back, you know what I mean? And I got made up by a brigadier in the field. <laughs> yeah, no, and that type of stuff, like, because, you know, I didn't throw my hand in and uh, we did a lot better than, you know, and that was the first time we, we you know, the Cambrian March, we'd put teams in for that, yeah. like, you know what I mean? So when you're getting people that are getting gold awards and all that type of stuff, and we was one of the few... Well, my team was one of the few started with nine and finished with nine. And, you know, we even, like, proper doubled in at the end, yeah. like, you know, all right, you know, the feet were in, everything was in bits, mate, yeah, yeah, in bits and that. But, you know, just kind of looked like we could actually fight, a, you know, a battle at the end of it. Yeah, you know, was like, you know, but long story cut short. But, yeah, I still, I can still remember, I can play that, you know, like, when you ask those two Bob Frutney bit, like that two Bob Frutney bit, when Billy Mycock, like, you know what I mean? He's a good lad, but, you know what I mean? Uh... And that would all fall on him, and it did, it did, you know what I mean? Um, and you could hear him, his voice down, and it comes down that corridor, and you're in the cell, and you're going, oh, oh. I mean, beam me up, don't cover it, but yeah, oh, he gave me a rifting, sir, he gave me a rifting. Oh, oh. For about the next two weeks, I had three bum holes, he ripped me a new arse, I, I could just choose which one I wanted to have a poo out, like, you know what I mean? But I did think, like, 
If he hits me, I'm just going to lay on the ground. I'm just going to... Well, you wouldn't hit me when a cop was there. No, no, do you know what I mean? It's like army. People, if you don't understand, that was kind of the armies back in the 80s, mate. Yeah, mid-80s. Yeah, about 85, I'm talking about, yeah. But anyway, oh, he's a cracking guy. He's brilliant. And, you know, Beano North wanted to be the big IM Judge Dredd and all that. But he never really quite made it, really. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of that and not a lot of action. But, you know. Anyway. I think we've, we've done about. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Well, yeah, we're talking about warry things and getting into fights on nights out and stuff like that. <laughs> Got anything to add? Al? Right, anyway, swiftly moving on. <laughs> anyway, no, anyway, we're just we've just gone back to the old days there, and there's Mr. Baldry. <laughs> And the, the heater in the jacuzzi went wrong yeah, once. Yeah. Yes, yes, on the train here. Baldrick, come here. Yeah, no, he's just getting rid of his bratty, bratty juice. Judy, uh, come here, he'll think that's soup. Right, ladies and gents, yeah, sorry, we, we just went off on a tangent there, mate, yeah? But there you go. <laughs> I'll bring you back if there's anything. Yeah, no, I'm, I've been proper, been, what's the word? I'm using big words today, reminiscing, mate, there. <laughs> no, but Al, obviously you give it a good burn on that, mate. Dirty what, now, look. Yeah, I know. Well, you'll clean it when you get home. Yeah. But you wanted a pot that all the other pots um, fit inside, mate. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, how much, sir, uh, just on that? Eighteen ninety nine. So that's a bit, a little bit more than I paid for mine. But I've had mine a few years. So I found these things. They're better than any zebra pot, mate. Yeah. Isn't they? They've got the, the handles on them. They've got obviously the handle for it uses a billy. Yeah. Uh, that's a lid and lid. doubles up the frying pan. Frying pan and that, mate. And the pouring spout. Yeah, it's got a pouring spout on it. And it's a uh, one litre. Yeah, a good one litre. And the other pots fit inside, mate. And that's yeah. what you was after. So, yeah. so I flicked your link, mate. Okay, 18 thanks. quid. And the only thing, mine one hasn't got, but the only thing we that's like a bit naughty about this is that little thing that sticks yeah. out there, mate, which is to stop the bail arm going right across, but that's just going to cut into stuff. So you're going to nick that off when you get yeah. home. Yeah. Either bend it round or nick it off. But 18 quid. Proper on point, mate, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. You know, like you don't have to spend huge amounts of money, do you? Yeah. So if you want to know about pots and all that, <laughs> infantry, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got one in there, mate. It's my go-to pot. Yeah. Bush. You know, I'm not, I can't better it. Like, you know, you can pay a lot of money for the Moors pots and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've even got one of the, um, uh, the American guy, Pathfinder oh, pots. Yeah, 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 which is, uh, but the difference between prices mm. on that and this. Yeah, oh yeah, you've got Pathfinder there, mate. They're good there. kit. But like I say, you wanted a thing where it all fitted into one, mate. And yeah. that's for 18 quid, so you can't go wrong when yeah, you can. Yeah, you, know, you can't even buy a big pizza for that, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it, it, well, you know. In, but yeah, nice little pot, sir. And you're happy with that, mate, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Infantry got a burn on it, sir. Because <laughs> I know you'll clean it and they'll have a bronze in effect. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, proper on it, sir. <laughs> now, if I wanted a bit of metal cleaned up, I'll give it to you, sir. I'll you... clean the inside for hygiene. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Because you, you, you won't do that now, because I've <laughs> talked about it. No. There's nothing wrong with clean, you know, if you want to be clean in the film and that. Right, Mr. Baldrick. Yeah. No, we've proper been sat there. I don't know why. We just uh, dived into... We started talking about Billy Marcott and reminded yeah. me, mate, you know, and we had some cracking time, you know, like proper... Um, like I say, I've I, I totally lost touch, mate, but he's got to be getting on a bit now and Beano and all that. So I hope they're still about, mate. Do you know, I should make more yeah, of an I'm effort, mate. Yeah, um... Yeah, you know, um, but yeah, I should make inquiries, mate, and maybe go to a reunion and all that type of stuff, like, you know what I mean? Get old hands, couldn't you? See, oh, yeah, see? <laughs> That's another gift, isn't it? He gives you a gift, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, well, we're just going to polish off the ginger cake and uh, get another brew on. <coughs> like I say, I'll, I'm, 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 we've just been talking a bit like the old, I think it started off with that mess tin, mate, didn't it? Started off with that mess tin, yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned Beano North and all the, some of the, the old, old 1980s like, on the wombats and all that sort of stuff, mate. Uh, anyway, we've just had a cracking day out, mate, you know what I mean? It's all, that's what it's all about, come down here, a bit of banter and all that, you know? Um, otherwise you go from bed to work, bed to work, didn't you? Or bed to work, bang one out. <laughs> not work for me anymore, is it? <laughs> oh, oh, have we retired, sir? <laughs> I'll tell you what, hey, Marty Cuff. Marty of the cuff. We seen we see nothing of him now. 
because you retired. Yeah, place, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the prep my meat or something like that, you know. Yeah, just place, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, I, 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 I speak, it's, 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 say no. It's, oh yeah. When you say Dave is in, yeah, Dave, Dub, Dub, we be old Dave. Always think the Dave's here. Yeah, Marty, get your ass out, mate. We, you know, when you retire, they lose them because the, the, the honey do list that the wife has got. You know what I mean? And yours is going to increase, sir. Don't look at me like that, sir. Because I know it. You know it, sir. Good reason to get out, ain't it? Well, yeah, but she'll soon put the kibosh on that, yeah. mate. <laughs> what you're saying is she's glad to get rid of me for a bit. <laughs> I did more running around than I ever did. When I, if you're, well, if I know. you're annoying. Dad of taxi now and all sorts, isn't you? Yeah, bank of dad. Yeah, oh, you're always going to do that, sir. They say, oh, you only have eight. It's for the rest of their lives, so you never stop being, you know, dad, taxi, this dad, and dad have broken down. Where are you? Mm. Somerset. That's a four hour drive, I know, dad. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? That scenario. Right. Um, ladies and gents, what I just want to say a big, big thank you to um, Dean, who's normally out with us. Obviously, he's self employed, he's, he's working. Um, I just turn up and it's, it rolls down into a little buying kit. Hello, boy. I know you love it, mate. And it, um, Baldy, come here. It's got, <laughs> he loves it. He probably loves it. And it's got them straps so it rolls up, you know, like a, like a blanket roll. Um, it's got a lovely sort of waterproof nylon bottom. Um, I'm not sure what the insulation is. There's one tigress. And uh, no, so this parcel come to the door, and Mrs. was expecting summer, and she was buying. See the little jumper he's got underneath there, proper little thing. Um, she was buying another one for Boudicca. So, uh, but it, it came and it said uh, Master Baldrick on it, and that's who you are, sir, Master Baldrick. And I thought that's a bit weird, anyway. Um, so I opened it up, and it was that. And I thought I thought she was going to get a coat or something for the dog. So anyway, I had a look at it and that, I just assumed it was what my missus was sending off for the dogs or whatever. And then uh, she came and said, well, I don't nothing, know nothing about that, you know. So I've made Baldrick something similar, but like thin, that long story cut short, Dean has ordered this and got it sent to my house. Not sure how he knew my address, but he probably got it off somebody. Um, yeah, so Dean, thanks a lot, mate. Baldrick proper loves it. And so does Boudicca, uh, my boxer. Um, so thanks a lot mate, that's a cracking bit of kit and it will see a lot of use. I'm going to make this boy a tent, a shelter to end all shelter. I just think Gore-Tex and the rest will be seen and that's going to be incorporated as his little sleeping pad. No, he's been, been proper on that today hasn't he? And yeah. when I got it out, Boudicca went and sat on it and he went and sat and they were fighting who was going to sit on it and that like. But uh, he says, oh thanks Dane, I love Dane, don't I? He said, Dane, do you want a new dog? <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, it's a lovely bit of kit, nicely made, um, completely out of nowhere. So I appreciate that, Dean. I always like to say thank you, sir, and we'll sort you out. There'll be a, you know, I'm sure I'll be making something you think, oh, I like the look of that. You know, the normal stuff we do. Right, anyway, uh, I'm happy how that's got to go. I've worked out how much I've got to drop on the bottom and have it lower on that. Um, but I think all we're really doing, really, is uh, Operation Banter today, really, wasn't it? <laughs> look at it. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. It don't have to be about making feather sticks and all that. Because we've all seen Rain Mears do it, which means we can do it. Yeah, there we go. Get on a pop up Rain Mears. <sighs> You've seen his prices on this side. Anyway, I better go because all the Rain Mears like fanboys will be like proper beating me up, wouldn't they? I'm actually going to go and see him. He's on. Uh, he's doing a chat in uh, next year. Yeah, in Twitch. No, in Chelmsford. Is he? Yeah. Alright, yeah, right. it's only a one night one at yeah. the um, Civic Theatre in Chelsea. Alright, yeah, that's all at Colchester. How much is that then, mate? 20 sobs of tickets, aren't they? Yeah. 20 quid? Yeah. 20 times 500. You know what I mean? I'll, 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 I'll bunk well, I mean, in after there. After he'd done that, he'd done that chat, I put the. Uh, that was a good chat, mate. I, I was. I thought, no, give the man credit, what he said there was Proper on it, mate, because one of the things, yeah, he said, one thing in any 
survival or difficult situation is your ability to maintain a sense of humour. Mm. Whatever's gone on, you've got to have look on this side, make positives out of it, and all that. And I thought, well, actually, do you know, we begrudgingly, I thought, yes, mate, that's true. Because you can have all the skills in the world if your, he your head's not in the right space and you have the ability to take defeat after defeat after defeat after mm. defeat, you know, that type of thing, not going right, but still keep going. I was like, mm. yeah. and he's very uh, look after the world because it's the only one we got, but not yeah. like. Greta, yeah, but who no, does no. my head in? She's standing there shouting her mouth off. I mean, she's she's a school kid. I know. So, you know she's reading from a script, mate. She? No, they, yeah, her knowledge is. is, is she's just a, like a, a figure now, anyway. But anyway, no, so I don't want to actually say, but I did enjoy his speech there, yeah. mate, yeah. yeah and there was so one there was one bloke before him, and I don't know who he was, but um, he's done a load of expedi expeditions and that, the yeah. The with a canoeing. Yeah. yeah. He was good as well. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah. remember what his name was, but no. yeah, he, he was excellent as well. Yeah, but because I've sort of quite enjoyed it there, I thought I'd just see that he's at um, the Pacific Theatre in Chelmsford. Mm. Do you know, I'll tell you no what, mate. No advertisement for him, but, no. you know. Um, because obviously I don't live too far, mate. I might go down there. You can like bunk me in the side door, you know, when there are fire exits. You know, as you do, you used to do in the cinema. And we'll do that, sir. And I'll stand right in the back near the exit. And when he comes on, and just after everybody stops clapping, because they always clap, Ray, don't they? I'll go, Oi, Ray, you fat bastard. <laughs> and I'll leg it out of the door, mate. <laughs> and I'll point at you as I'm going, It was him, it was him, and I'll leg it out of the door. No, mate, you know, based on that, you know, joking aside, he, he did give a good talk there, mate. Yeah, it made a lot of sense. Yeah, good talk there. Well, the yeah. thing about it is... I know David and a few of the lads have been to yeah. see his talks. The, the, the crazy thing about it is, like, seats there, oh, three seats in the front row. So I said to the missus, I said, oh, get two seats there. You can't put two seats. Because it's three seats, you've got to put three, or that's it, because it leaves one odd seat. So you can't... Because there's three seats, you can't take two of them. I'll tell you what's a good idea, mate. Stupid is that? Tell you what, one, two, three of us here, but your wife wants to go, so I'll tell you what, we'll book the three seats and your right, wife can up. sit on my lap. <laughs> I, was just, I was just saying. <laughs> No, but maybe that's the thing, mate, because again, it's not too far, is it, Chelmsford and all yeah, that? No, yeah, it's a bit further for you. Tickets now. It's just uh, in the second row, so. Uh, uh, second row. No, but. but no, no, I'm quite Begrudgingly, you know, he did do a good old talk. No, made a lot did. of sense, mate, he yeah. He did, he made a lot of sense, sense. and I thought. I'm just Especially with that bit about the mindset. You can have all. all yes. Most of the people that have survived in unbelievable circumstances have got zero skill. I've asked about, I did Very, have very, you know. Because one of the things he turned around and said, he said, at the start of the season, get all your kit, put it in your rucksack, put all your stuff in uh, dry bags, etc. Yeah. It's sling it in the river, yeah. see if it works. I can, <laughs> sling it. I can imagine all these people slinging it in, thinking, I should have attached it to a rope. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, many, I was saying many moons ago, mate, I got you a thing, I got me Bergen, full, you know, weighted Bergen. It was actually an army Bergen. And then, you know, like we used to do river crossings, mate, yeah. obviously rolling up in a poncho and then tying it off at yeah. the top. And people were like, no, that's not going to float. Well, actually, it does and all that. Yeah. And I couldn't cross the river, so I just swam up and down. My missus thought it was hilarious. And so did the, yeah, you know, I've got a river right near our div, mate, you know what I mean? But people, uh, with a guy in Alaska and all that, and they said, no, that's how we, they said, oh. So I said, I'll show you how we do it then. And I thought, well, I'll do a film of it. Um, so it's how you would literally cross a water obstacle trying to keep yourself dry, mate. Well, you kit dry because you're down to your skiddies. Yeah. Obviously, I was filming it, so I put a tracksuit bottoms on because, you know what I mean? Don't well, no, I don't want to make um, the other ladies jealous, you know, because in the wedding tackle department, you know, I'm pretty, you know what I mean? I've got a lunchbox, sir. No, no, but I did do that, mate. And a lot of people think, well, actually, a Bergen, you know, a £40 Bergen won't float. Well, uh, yes, it will. Mm. Yeah, you just got to know what you're doing and that, mate. Of course it does. Mm. You know, but he was right there, times. and he talked about a little bit of kit redundancy. Have something in your pocket, a fast thing in your pocket, and one in your fire kit in your Bergen, and that type of stuff, mate, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm bigging up Ray Mears there. Al, when I stop filming, sir, because I don't want nothing on camera, give me a slap. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, proper slap. <laughs> Actually, you'll hit me with your dick, because you're all, yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing you like to slap me with, sir, isn't it? <laughs> right, anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to have a brew, uh, have a knock that bit of kit and probably call it a day but yeah I'll, if, I'll have a look mate 
I just think, because oh, some people just like the bit of the banter and the crack and all that. And I must admit, there's been some things there that you wouldn't really on cap, but it's just. No, some things don't, can't go on cap. No, well, no, they can, I don't care, yeah? Because if people don't want to watch my films, I don't want to watch them, but YouTube might eject. <laughs> We're in this woke world, woke world, you know what I mean? Where you can't say blackboard anymore or anything like that. But then they have the markers, and it's always, it's, it's okay to say whiteboard. And I'm going, what? Well, uh, and I'm going, actually, yeah, don't, even, don't even get into it. Don't even get into it. Just crack on. Can't have a Merry Christmas. It's got to be Happy or Merry Holiday. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. Happy holiday season or something. Oh, do you know, you know, it's, just, you know it's, not, it's not fair to the other religions. Oh, not fair. Well, no, never, never mind. But again, you know, hey, hey, thing is, we're out here. That's the real world, lads. Because you know, we start thinking about all that. You know, because there's nothing wrong with Ramadan. That's the, you know, and all that. I'm a very accepting of religion, but once they start forcing it on other people, you know, and that can be all, all the different. I call them mobs, but all the different, you know, viable, you know, religious organisation. You know, if I was religious and I had to be one, or you die, I would, I would be Klingon. I would join. I'd be like the Klingon religion, you know, because it's a thing. People oh, speak so Klingon. Called, now, uh, Star Wars one, um, Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, because apparently in the states, if enough people put down on their sort of, uh, when it says what religion I, a bit like we have. Sensors, mm. they put it down on their whatever their equivalent mm. is, put down what their religion is, and now enough people put down Jedi that it now becomes a religion because enough <laughs> people. <laughs> Jedi, right? It's coming back some years, mate. We had a bloke in uh, HQ company in the signal platoon and a bloke in our company, serious, they're both independent of each other, but you could there was a Klingon like language. Blood wine. Well, isn't it? Properly. <laughs> well, it was this Welsh word. No, no anyway, I'm, oh, I just had a flashback there, so my, my knees went all, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> just so I couldn't run fast enough. No, but um, they, they could have a conversation and they would actually know what the other one's saying. Because we would write one thing down and he would say it to him, yeah, and then he would have to write the answer down and we correlate between the two and that, like, you know what I mean? Like there was the wind a, talk, isn't it? Yeah, the wind talk. The yeah, Apache wind talk. Apache I'm, not, I'm not joking, mate. On, um, you know, like the active edge exercise, the t uh, um, whatever, the Russians used to listen to, listen in to everything, mate, on the big exercises and the small exercises as well. So, Sod knows what they, they um, made of these two blokes that were talking to each other in Klingon. It was arranged by the civil, yeah. you know, and all that type of stuff. But there again, if they can associate them guys talking to a unit, yeah? Yes. Because some officers will say, oh, the candy stripe road, and you know, you know what I mean, you know, that type of stuff, or not use particular codes and that, then they'll, 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 they'll always know that's RGJ battle group, if these, you know what I mean? Uh, we had one bloke, he kept uh, his mannerism, oh, we're talking army today anyway, you know what I mean? You've got to be like proper radio procedure and all that type of stuff. He used to keep saying hamburger, uh, you know, and it was just the thing, like, you know. Um, we, we had. Oh, I'm, talking about radio procedure, talking about army. You know, you had the unit, no. test, unit tester. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to stop going here. Right, ladies and gents, seriously, it's been like this all day, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to say, tatty bites you, because I think I've got about an hour and ten minutes of army talk now. You know, reminiscing, mate, reminiscing. That's a big word for me, now, isn't it? I bet you can spell it, though, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there we go, Dean. Just thanks for that, mate. Uh, next time you see that, so I'm going to incorporate that into a proper shelter. Um, just think Gore-Tex, the yish. Nothing, nothing's, nothing's too good for Mr. Baldrick. But he's proper on it, sir. So, Dean, thanks a lot, mate. Um, big shout out to you, sir. And Baldrick wants to give you um, lots of like, face kisses, sir, to tell you he, he loves you. Yeah, after he's been licking his what's it. <laughs> right, ladies and gents, if you've watched, if I've put this up and you've watched it, I hope you start giving her a giggle or you, you, you've you come to the conclusion, guess what? I'm not going in the forest with them lot. <laughs> Especially that one. <laughs> you don't smile a lot, but he's a bit devious, sir, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just going to say what was off cam stays off cam. <laughs> Take care, ladies and gents.